I can't even believe that this is happening to me. It was such a quick decision. But the consequence of that decision now has me destined for the Kentucky State Penitentiary. Riding in the back of this patrol car with these handcuffs on my wrists and on my legs and they're so uncomfortable. They dig into my skin and I can barely walk. There's a chain from leg to leg and a chain from hand to hand. And this penitentiary looks horrible. It's gothic gray stone walls. I've heard a lot of things about this place. And I've heard about some of the men on the inside. What in the world is it going to be like for me? What am I going to do in the middle of the night when I get sick or when I'm lonely? What if someone attacks me or, or even rapes me? This place looks horrible. I wonder how many know that I'm coming. Remove your clothes. I can tell in the looks of their eyes, they're sizing me up, wondering who's gonna take me first. And now I've got to go down these stairs. I am going to enter this place. I had no idea that such a quick decision would have a consequence like this. And that's my number, 105184. This is how they identify me. A fingerprint and a number. I've lost my identity, my personhood. Now I'm here. Teen, will you today decide I'm going to make the right decisions? Well, there is one decision that we make that has eternal repercussions. Dear God, I know that I'm a sinner, but I thank you that Jesus Christ died for me. I want to go to your heaven someday. And right now, I invite your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to come into my heart and to be my Lord and Savior. Thank you in his name. If you pray that prayer, then please let us know. There'll be an address in just a few moments. Please let us know. Make the right decision. God bless you.